this morning we are learning around 15 million potential vaccines were spoiled at a facility helping to produce the one dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine. The drug maker says that it found a quality issue in one batch of a vaccine ingredient made at a plant in Baltimore. Federal officials attributed the mistake to human error. The FDA is set to investigate the issue, which will reportedly cause a delay in future shipments of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But the company says it's still on track to deliver 24 million more doses next month. What's well, a mix of excitement and concern as we mark a Tigers opening day unlike any other. Fans will finally be able to return to the stands at Comerica Park today. Current state guidelines limit capacity to 20%, which is about 8,200 fans. Ticket holders will be seated in pods with at least six feet of social distancing between others. With the recent surge of COVID-19 cases here in Michigan, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is discouraging people from going downtown to party here on this opening day. But that's not sitting too well with many business owners who've been struggling to get by. A wild crash involving a fire truck was caught on camera at a gas station on Detroit's east side. Look at this video. It's incredible. Police say right there, oh, that fire truck had been heading to a call when an SUV slammed into it near DeQuinter and State Fair. It was caught on camera there by Metro Detroit News. The SUV then crashed into that pole and the fire truck was sent speeding into another vehicle at a gas pump, sparking that fire that you just saw there. Three firefighters and four others had to be taken to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries. Glad it wasn't any worse. We had some snow overnight, especially across Macomb County and Lapeer uh, and, and across St. Clair County had uh, quite a bit of snow overnight. 29 degrees in Troy, Clinton Township, Shelby Township, Rochester Hills. Uh, look slightly farther north around the Oxford area, northern Oak, uh, Oakland County. It's 25 degrees, but uh, this is a map showing where some snow is on the ground right now. And a couple of snow showers, much lighter snow showers, still moving through north to south. But uh, as much as a couple of inches of snow, might need to dust the car off if the car was uh, outside overnight. But I don't think anything that you're going to have to be shoveling this morning. Some of us, though, waking up to some snow, particularly across the Thumb and Macomb County. 20s to start this morning, so bundle up. It's going to be a cold day today. Highs only around 37 degrees. So for the ball game, 33 degrees by first pitch. Mid game is about 36. We'll have partly cloudy skies this morning. Some flurries possible this morning and this afternoon. Breezy and cold winds 10 to 20 out of the northwest and a high of only 37 today. So it's going to feel like it's in the mid 20s this afternoon.